Hi, this is Donna Stott with Your Coaching Matters, bringing you this month's two-minute tip. At this time of year, we want to look at where we stand so far in the year in relation to our goals. Your Coaching Matters has a 12-question fill-in-the-blank form that you can use that's attached to this newsletter. A few of the more important questions include, what is working best for me this year? What are my top three reasons I do this work? How many closed and pending transactions do I have? And what is my income from those added together? Looking at your listing inventory. What if you sold every listing that you had and it closed by year end? What would I be making from that? You know, the big question is what percent of my annual goal have I completed as of now, middle of the year, this year? And if you aren't at 50%, Can you define the primary cause? It could be normal in your market. Is it seasonal? Is it less than planned contacts or lower quality contacts that I've been making? Let's look at those facts. You know, is it a ratio that's off? I'm going on a lot of appointments, I'm not getting them. Or I'm taking a lot of listings where they're not selling. So look at those numbers and ask yourself, what has happened in physical reality that has caused me to be where I am right now in the year. And many of you are ahead of goal, which is terrific. It's time to look at why. Then it's time to take a harder look at your reality today and face the facts by asking yourself. Here's the big question. How many deals do I actually need to pen by November 15th to reach my goal? Do I need to change my goal? Or more importantly, do I need to change something about what I'm doing to get there? And if so, what is that thing that needs to change? You may want to look at hiring a coach to help you with that question. What is my plan for the rest of the year with the business sources I have? That's where we're laying out those next four or five months that we have to pen the deals we need to reach our goal. Big question for you to look at, and and this is a tough one, is how much closed and pending income have I made from the business sources that I'm working this year and from the listing and selling team members on my team? How much have I made personally, not the team? Those are questions that are, are bigger questions about how your business is running. Have a great rest of the day.